Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to add mixed numbers with unlike denominators step by step. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, two thirds is a proper fraction, given that the numerator two is less than the denominator three. Nice! In the first example, we need to find the sum of nine and two thirds and seven and one fourth. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have different denominators. To find the sum, we need to remember that a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. That's it! So first, we will write the mixed number 9 and 2 thirds as the sum of a whole number, 9 in this case, and a proper fraction, 2 thirds, 2 thirds. See? We will write the mixed number 9 and 2 thirds as the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Then we put the plus sign, and here we do exactly the same with the second mixed number. We rewrite the mixed number 7 and 1 fourth as the sum of a whole number, 7, and a proper fraction, 1 fourth. Next, we put the whole numbers at the beginning. The whole numbers are 9 and 7, 7. Next, we put the fractions 2 thirds, 2 thirds, plus 1 fourth, 1 fourth. Then we have 9 plus 7, give us 16. Yep, that is 16. And now we add the fractions 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. These two fractions have different denominators 3 over here, 4 over here. Put fractions with unlike denominators, there are several methods. However, I love to use the cross multiplication method, the butterfly. In this method, we start by multiplying the denominators. And 3 times 4 give us 12. Then we are going to cross multiply. On this side we have 2 times 4, and 2 times 4 give us 8. Now we put the plus sign, and on the other side we have 3 times 1. 3 times 1 give us 3. Perfect! I'm going to raise this part. Next, 16, 16, the plus sign, 8 plus 3 give us 11, and then the denominator stays the same. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Hold on, that is the definition of a mixed number, the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So finally, we will write the sum of 16 and 11 twelfths as a mixed number 16 and 11 twelfths. That's it! In that way, 9 and 2 thirds plus 7 and 1 fourth give us 16, 16 and 11 twelfths. Perfect! Let's move on to another example. In the second example, we will add 6 and 1 half plus 3 and 1 fourth. First, we will write the mixed number 6 and 1 half as the sum of a whole number, 6, and a proper fraction. That fraction will be 1 half. Now we put the plus sign and over here we do the same. We will write the mixed number 3 and 1 fourth as the sum of a whole number, 3, and a proper fraction, 1 fourth. Now we put the whole numbers at the beginning, the whole numbers are 6 and 3. Now we put the fractions at the end, 1 half, 1 half, plus 1 fourth. 6 plus 3 give us 9, the plus sign, and here we need to add these two fractions with unlike denominators. To add fractions with unlike denominators, we are going to use the butterfly method. In this method, we we'll start by multiplying the denominators, and 2 times 4 give us 8. Then we are going to cross multiply. On this side we have 1 times 4, and 1 times 4 give us 4. Now we put the plus sign and over here, 2 times 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. 9 plus 4 plus 2 is 6. The denominator stays the same. In this line we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So we can rewrite the sum of 9 and 6 eighths as the mixed number 9 and 6 eighths. However, we are not done yet. Don't forget that the fraction in the resulting mixed number must be in simplest form. So finally, we are going to simplify 6 eighths dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by 2. Ready? We cannot simplify the whole number, so we put 9 one more time, and then 6 divided by 2 give us 3. 8 divided by 2 give us 4, that's it. 6 and 1 half plus 3 and 1 fourth give us 9 and 3 fourths, 3 fourths. Let's move on to the last example. In this example, we will find the sum of 7 and 1 half and 5 and 2 thirds. First, we will write the mixed number 7 and 1 half as the sum of a whole number, 7, 
and the proper fraction, one half. We put the plus sign and here we do the same. We rewrite the mixed number five and two thirds as the sum of a whole number, five, and the proper fraction, two thirds. Now we put the whole numbers at the beginning. The whole numbers are seven and five, five. The fractions at the end, the fractions are one half, one half and two thirds. Two thirds, that is correct. Here we have seven plus five, give us 12, 12 plus, once again, we're going to use the butterfly method to add these two fractions with unlike denominators. We'll start by multiplying the denominators and two times three, give us six. Then we're going to cross multiply. One times three, give us three, the plus sign, on this side we have 2 times 2, and that is 4. Then comes 12, 12 plus 3 plus 4, give us 7, and then the denominator stays the same. 6 come over here. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 7 6 is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 7 is greater than the denominator 6. Since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? How many times does 6 go into 7? How many times does 6 go into 7? Well, 6 goes into 7 one time. Then we multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. To get 7, we need to add 1. Once again, 1 times 6 is 6. To get 7, we need to add 1. And then we keep the denominator the same. 6 come over here. Don't forget 12. 12 and the plus sign. In this line, we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry. We just need to follow the same steps we have seen in this video. We'll start by adding the whole numbers. 12 plus 1 give us 13. 13. And then we add the fractions. However, we only have one fraction over here. And that fraction is... One sixth. We are done. In that way, seven and one half plus five and two thirds give us thirteen, thirteen and one sixth. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out that playlist. Over here, you have another video. See you next time and have a good one. Bye.